said, Hi, it's Joanna here with Four Legged Scholars Dog Training, and I'm here again volunteering at the Portage County Dog Warden. And I am here with this cute dog, Harley. And I'm wondering, do you ever feel overwhelmed or stressed or frustrated when you play fetch with your dog? Uh, because your dog just is completely out of control, super hyper, not listening to you, jumping all over you, barking, doing all sorts of obnoxious behavior. Um, if that's the case, let's create more peace and happiness in your life. And it's actually really simple. You just want your dog to do something that you like before you actually play the game. So I have this little ball here for Harley. Sit. Good job. Say, nope. So notice he's not going to get the ball because he jumped on me there. Sit. Stay. Sit. Stay. Good job. So he's really, really excited about the ball um, and really, really wants to play super bad. I'm going to make sure he's sitting and then I'm going to throw the ball. Turning my back. Harley, drop. Good. Sit. Good job. Sit. Gentle. There you go. So he's pretty amped up, and if you have a really hyper dog, they're going to be amped up when you do this stuff. So, again, you're not going to have perfect behavior, but you're really aiming to get your dog sit to do something that's calm before they get that ball. Harley, get it. Good. Now bring it back in here. Good. Off. Drop. Drop. There you go. Good job. Sit. Harley drop. Good. And sit. Stay. Oh, sit. Stay. Sit. Okay, get the ball. Harley, come. ate my hand there. You need to be way more gentle. So you do want to be conscious 
when you're using treats because your dog is going to um, be more grabby with them when they're excited. Drop. Oh, sit. Mm -hmm. Sit. Okay, get it. So you can get your dog to do this too. want to start really simple and reward your dog for doing the behavior that you like and then over time they'll